Good evening. Welcome to our team Zoom. It's Monday. Wow, March 30th, the end of March. And I'm excited to have you all on here tonight. Um, we have an amazing guest tonight. Those of you who were in Cancun uh, got to hear him on the stage, but his name is John Garner. He is from Nebraska. And he's been with Life Vantage for just over six years. And prior to Life Vantage, he did not have any network marketing experience. He did, however, have something that's really key, a burning desire to learn and to become a better person by helping those around him become better versions of themselves. So he's a husband and a father of five, ranging in age from two to 16. And he has two dogs. And they are always incredibly busy with all their sporting activities in which their kids participate. So if there was anyone who didn't have the time, it was John. And so his passion is coaching the youth and helping people achieve the dream that they did not think was possible. I love that, John. Um, he looks forward to helping anyone who has a burning desire to help others. And by helping others, they will rise as well. Previously, he spent 12 years as a professional pharmaceutical representative covering a three-state territory. And he worked life Vantage and pharma all at the same time for over two years. And then he was able to take life Vantage to a full-time position. Fast forward three years and his wife has now also been able to transition away from teaching to working the life Vantage business from home. So they're excited for the future of our amazing company. And with that, John, it's just an honor uh, to have you on here tonight. I so appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule, which sounds very busy to help us tonight. So um, go ahead and you can begin sharing, John. All right, will you hear me okay, Julie? I can hear you perfectly. Fantastic. Well, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great this evening. It's uh, it's been kind of crazy here lately, right? You talk about not having any time and now it seems like, well, we've got all the time in the world. So there's no sporting events. We're used, we're used to being in the car nonstop. And you have to understand uh, being in the middle of Nebraska, there's no sporting event that's close, right? It, it's all hours and hours away. So we're used to spending a ton of time on the road. And so now we're all adjusting to school being canceled, everybody's at home. We had our first full day of school Zooms. So all the kids were on their Zoom calls today. I was doing multiple Zoom calls today. Um, and so really, really kind of a, it's still busy, but it's a different busy. But it's a good thing because uh, if you don't stay busy, you find out about all the negativity that's going on in the world today. And I, I kind of want to talk a little bit with you guys about that and how we can best control that and really channel some energy into some positive things because there are some really good things that are going to come of this. There's a silver lining in everything and, and uh, this is no exception. Uh, it's, a, it's a very tough time, but it's a tough time that there's gonna be industries, there are going to be individuals that rise through this uh, that are going to create some amazing, amazing things. So with that guys, you have to understand that there, you have to understand where people are at. Um, you know, we, we talk to people daily. I think it's, it's really important that you create community within your groups. Community is a big deal. So I, I heard many of you talking about the number of Zooms that you're doing, and that's really, really positive. Community is something that, that everybody desires, that everybody needs. And now, last week, I just heard this number yesterday, um, but the total number of, of now filing for unemployment as of last week were 3.3 million. 3.3 million people filed for unemployment. And to give you an example of where that falls into place in our history, the previous record was back in 1982 at 692,000. And we're currently 3.3 million filed for unemployment last week. So, there's a lot of people that are uncertain. There's a lot of people worried. There's a lot of people that are sick. There's a lot of people that don't know what's going to happen days from now. They don't know what's gonna happen with whether it be their job or whether it be the person who's signing their paycheck or where that check's going to come from next week. They just don't know. And, and that's where we have to be cognizant. We have to, 
We have to lead with our heart because there's a lot of people that are worried and a lot of people out there that are, that are needing a lot of help. There's never been a greater time in history where people are more concerned for their health than they are today. You think about that and that is, that is powerful. And, and when you think about where we're at now with the company and the products that we have, amazing. Like we are in such an incredible industry and in such an incredible company. Um, you know, I would, I would tell you, if you were on my team call last night, I would say, you got to get registered for, for October for global because this company, I've got a sneaking suspicion, is going to be on fire going into October. And so just make sure that that is one, one meeting that you will not want to miss. I, I, I think that there's going to be a huge turn and things are just going to be going like crazy here coming up very soon. So tonight I want to make sure that you, you focus on what you can control because there's lots of things that we can't, right? And, and too many of us, I think it was Mark, I think it was you that was, was talking beforehand. It, it seems like there's things that are, that are just happening all around and, and you kind of get caught up in it, right? It's easy to get caught up into listening to the news and listening to these, these statistics. And before you know it, you're drawn in and all of a sudden you've got this now fear, this fear of, of what's going to happen. And so tonight it's about getting out of that fear because fear is, fear is not real, right? Fear is not real. And there's, there's lots of things that we can control. We can control our family. We can control our health. We can control you know, the things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to make our lives better. The difference becomes from making our lives better to making other people's lives better, right? One positive thought, as I said in Cancun, one positive thought in the morning can change your day. But one positive thought that you can give to somebody else can change their entire life. And that is the most important thing that you guys can do right now because people need to hear the positive and you need to be that beacon of, of, of positive light. The world, the world is running around with no direction whatsoever. They, they have no idea where they're going and, and there's no leadership. And this is where guys, you guys, everybody in this company, if you want to make this happen for yourself, it's just as simple as think about the positive, help people with just be solution oriented, right? So help people with their issues. If somebody's hurting, lend your ears, right? Not, not your words, but lend your ears so that you're there to understand what they're going through, right? You first have to understand before you can be solution oriented. A group that I told this morning is like, that's what we do. That's all we do every day is we're solution oriented people. We solve problems. So the first thing you have to do is you have to listen. So as, as Seth Mulder talked on the call this last week, and if you have not been plugging into the, to the Saturday trainings that Life Manage is putting on, <laughs> amazing. They're free and they're amazing. So Seth Mulder had some fantastic things to say this last weekend, you know, and it's, it's just about getting the conversation started. So don't overthink it. You don't need to overthink it. Just start the conversation and listen to how people are doing and what they're currently doing. And then you can offer solutions for what they're having issues with. It's, it's really that simple. And everybody's looking for a solution right now. Everybody. Um, you know, it's, it's, we're practicing this, this social distancing. And so this is where it comes incredibly important. Social distancing, yes. Right? Heart distancing, no. Right? You've got to lead with your heart. You've got to be available for people. Right now is the time to reach out to as many people as you can because there are people hurting everywhere. There's people that you don't realize that are hurting on your, your own team. Right? To reach out to them just to talk. They need that social interaction. People need community. One of the biggest immune boosters that's out there is community. It's, it's having that community to help build each other up. Right, and so that's really, really important. So, you know, the, the things that really it comes down to is, is making a decision, right, and staying focused. It's easy to get lost right now because everywhere you look, it is negativity after negativity after negativity. So control the things that you can control and make a decision to act on it, right? So act on it by, by picking up the phone tonight or getting on Messenger tonight, texting somebody tonight, and ask them how they're doing. Just starting the conversation and ask how they're doing. Ask how their family's doing. Right? Is that 
there's some of you that are going to be, um, you're wondering, well, how do I ever transition into the business side, right? How would I ever transition to invite them once that conversation has started? Well, the answer to that, for those of you that worry about that, the answer is you do the same thing that I do, which when I reach out to somebody, the first thing that I say is, I say, hey, I'm, I'm really excited to have something really special that I would love to share with you. But first, hey, it has been a long time. Like, how are you doing with all this Corona stuff? How is your family doing? Has it affected your jobs at all? And when they start to answer those questions, I'm going to ask more questions about the answers they just gave me. So tell me, like, the, the best thing, that's interesting. Tell me a little more about that. Help, help me understand what your day looks like now. Right? It's those little questions that we always get caught up in because we're thinking about trying to invite them to this business instead of you're there to offer a solution once you find out their problem. So you really have to dive in and continue to ask more questions. Your ears are the best thing that you have, right? The more you can listen, the better off you're going to be because then you're, you can be more heartfelt when you come back with a solution. And it has to lead with your heart. It, it has to. It cannot lead with anything else. You can say just about anything you want as long as you lead with your heart. You don't have to worry. It doesn't have to be the perfect thing. You just need to lead with your heart. So you're going you're gonna to decide. You're going to take action. You're, the, the action part of it is simple. Um, there was a mentor of mine that told me last night, really powerful. Um, he said that, you know, we fear, we don't fear our own message because we love our products, we love our company, and we are educated about them, right? So we don't fear our message. Our fear comes in of wondering what the other person is going to think about our message. Guys, we have incredibly, incredible, scientific backed, amazing products. That is the reason why I'm here, right? I left pharmaceuticals for multiple reasons, right? And one was, you've got no time. Somebody else was controlling my paycheck. I wanted to be proactive in my health not reactive in my health. And so you have the most amazing background with this company, but you can't be fearful of what somebody else thinks of it. You just can't be, right? They, the only reason they wouldn't believe it or they, they might want to um, put it down or say no to it is just because they're uneducated about it. That's why they say no. And so that's where you, you've got to come back and just say, hey, you've just got to educate yourself a little bit about what's going on because with education, you can then make an educated decision. If you're not educated about something, how can, how can you make an educated decision about that? Right? So the other big thing about right now is, is belief. Belief is huge. And that belief isn't, isn't just in our products and just in our company. The belief has to come in you, right? The person who believes the most is the person who wins through, through this. And this is going to last for a while guys. Right? It's not just going to be just like that and everything's going to turn back on. This is going to be in the back of the minds for people for a while. What they're going to be looking for is how to make their own economy so they don't get put in this position again. Right? How can they build their own economy so that they can protect their family, their friends, their loved ones from times like these, from feeling the uncertainty that they have today. Nobody wants to feel that uncertainty again. And luckily, we have, we have a business model that excels in times like these and allows people to, to, uh, to really avoid being in situations like this if they'll just put forth the effort to work it in not only times like these, but outside of times like these. You've got to keep it simple. I am a guy, guys, I grew up on a farm. It is very simple, very straightforward. There's no beating around the bush about everything. It's just getting it done. So just keep it simple lead with your heart, right? You have an amazing business model. Be proud of it because in a matter of, just think about this. In the next decade, do you believe network marketing will be smaller or bigger? It's going to be bigger. You have to know that it's going to be bigger. The, the economic situation that's in the market today, the unaffected are the people who have taken their 
their skills. They've built their skills in network marketing. Network marketing is one of these industries that is rarely affected by an economic downturn. It just is that you're building your own economy. And with the products that we have, who's going to go without their, pro who's going to go without interrupt too? If they understand what that product does, nobody's going to go without it. And that's incredibly, incredibly powerful. So keep it incredibly simple. Don't wait. Guys, you, you have the ability, the power right now to change somebody's life forever. And, and people need that right now. If you, if you have friends that don't know about this right now, you need to call them now. You need to call them tonight with some urgency and tell them that you have something incredible for them that they need to take a look at right now, right? So many people on our team, this is what happens. And I know that if this happens on our team, I know it happens everywhere. Well, they just haven't watched the video yet. You ever get that? Anybody ever get that? You're waiting on somebody to watch a video. Does anybody get that? For those of you that I can see, you guys get that, right? We, we get it all the time. That's saying, well, we're just waiting on this person to watch the video. They just haven't watched the video yet. So a couple of things that I'm going to give you, and I'm not going to change, I'm not going to change your training, whatever system that you're following, whatever's working for you, keep doing what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to tell you if it, if something's not working for you, try it just a little bit differently. Okay. So a lot of people like to send a video first to gain interest. What I try to train our team to do is to have a conversation first, right? So you go from messenger to asking how they're doing to say, hey, would love just to pick up the phone and, and hear your voice. So you wanna, you wanna go from messenger or text or however you're communicating, you wanna go to a verbal conversation or a FaceTime or a Zoom as fast as possible. Not for the business, just to talk to a friend right? Just to talk to a family member, just to find out how they're doing, right? You want to, that's what you want to do because your heart is going to shine in those situations, okay? The next thing you're going to do is when you go to invite them, you're not going to ask them to take a look at a video. You're, you're going to ask them when they have a moment to talk about an incredible opportunity that you have that you think would drastically help their family and their friends. And then you're going to talk to them about it right? You talk to them about it. I don't, I don't care. As a pro zero, this is what we did. We knew nothing, knew nothing. Talk to them about it because your heart will shine through. Then you use a video to validate what you just talked about. So instead of sharing the video first, if that's not working for you or it stalls out, if it's working for you, that's fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't want to upset the apple cart. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you find that it's being stagnant, that people aren't wanting to watch the video, then what you do is you talk to them first and then use the video to validate. You just say, hey, take a look at this video tonight. Not asking, take a look at this video tonight. And this will be a better information than what I just gave you. It'll be a lot shorter, like I'm terrible at this. Just, it'll be a lot shorter. This will be great. Take a look at this video and I'll give you a call tomorrow. You're, you will have a lot higher success rate with having people watch the video after you talk to them instead of trying to have them watch the video first. Because when you send them the video first, they think it's just another one of those things because they haven't heard from you and how excited you are and how much you're leading with your heart. People will watch a video because they know how deeply you care about it. They're not going to watch it when it seems as though you don't care. Does that make sense? Right, so that's, that's a lot what we do and what we try to train to do is, is to really talk first and that's only gonna improve your skills. The more people you talk to, the better you get. We were terrible. And everybody that was on here, I guarantee you, I don't care what the rank is, we were all bad when we started. <laughs> we were really bad, really bad. It was, it's funny to think back on, but uh, it, it would have been easy to quit. But I will tell you that the more people you talk to, the better you get. You will just find that. So don't go a few days without talking to somebody because you'll feel rusty in a few days. Talk to multiple people a day if you can, right? As many people as you can, just to have a conversation. It doesn't have to be about the business. Just talking with people to find out where they're hurting, what their issues are, what's going on with their family, you know? And again, tell me more about that is always a great thing to say when you don't know what to say. Tell me more about that. Help me understand what's going on.
okay? You've got to be genuine and you have to care about the people that you're talking to. Um, but don't wait, now is, now is the perfect time. Now is not the time to wait and see what happens. Now is the time to be active and to get going. Now is the best time. There's never a better time than right now. Right now is the best time. If you don't do it now, you'll wish you'd have done it tomorrow. And the next day, you'll wish you'd have done it that day. Right? You'll just keep looking back. I wish I would have started a year ago. If I'm looking back, if I know what network marketing is, I wish I would have started 20 years ago. But I didn't. But I wish I would have. You see what I mean? It, you can always do that. But you have the power to change where you're going. Okay? The, you you want to change your health? You have to realize we all have to agree we're the sum of about 100 trillion cells inside of our body. You are the sum of your cells. So how you treat your cells is you. So what you put into your body and your environment and the people that you talk to, the community that you're around is you. Or you have to understand everything you do changes not only your life, but it changes other people's lives. Guys, when you do this, you could... You can create, I talked a little bit about this in Cancun. You can create your own momentum and you can create it tonight because it always starts with one. You don't need five people to create your own momentum. So whether you're a pro seven, eight, nine, or 10, or whether you're a pro zero, one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It always starts with one. Create momentum on your own team by starting with one. If you're, if you're brand new to this and you start with one, you've just doubled the size of your business in a day, right? If they talk to their parents or they talk to their siblings, they talk to their friends, you've just doubled the size of your business again. That's momentum. That's creating momentum is the, the excitement around what we have in a time like this when people are begging for positivity. They're begging for something to come into their, into their life. Don't keep it away. You hold a gift. We all hold a gift. You guys understand this is the way I always have looked at it. We hold a gift. And I don't know enough people to, to change thousands of lives. I don't. I know handfuls of people, right? And when I started this, we had, we had kids. We had full-time jobs. We had no time for any community. We just didn't. It was a miserable existence of just running nonstop, never having any time to slow down, to spend quality family time or quality time with our friends. We just didn't. So I didn't have a large community of people. You just didn't. And you don't need a large community of people. What you need is you need passion. You need energy. You need drive around these products. You have to want to change one person's life because when you can change one person's life, it all starts there. You change one person and they're going to tell their friends. I guarantee you change one person's life. They're going to tell their friends. They're going to tell their family. And now you have a bigger network to work with. It's really, it's that simple. Don't overcomplicate it. You have, I am not a complex thinking guy. I am very simple, straightforward. Here's what I know. If you talk to multiple people this week, your business will grow. It just will. And you're going to get better. So when you call somebody, don't be worried about the result. Just try to get better. That's it. You don't have to be as good as somebody else or look over here because that's, if there's one thing that has held me back at times during this business is looking around and going, dang it. Like, I think I'm better than that person. Why can't I, why can't I be their rank? It's not about that. It's about being better than you were yesterday. That's all just better than you were yesterday. And how do you get better than you were yesterday? Talk to another person, help them out, help them be solution oriented. That's all it is, right? So in the end guys, it, it's all about just get one, start with one and see where it takes you. You just never know where it'll go. Invite like crazy. Once you have that conversation, again, it's as simple as, hey, I'm really, really excited. This craziness that's going on my wife and I have created the ability to that where things like this doesn't bother us. And you can do the same thing. And we can show you how. It's a very simple process. Do you know anybody that wants to feel better? Do you guys know anybody that wants more energy? And do you know anybody that would not have to like to worry about their bills? 
It's simple. It, it, this is not complex. It's very simple. People are looking for answers. They're looking for ways to create their own economy. Right now, and I know if you're anything like my team, we built around health and wellness and about the products. This is what I see. And again, follow your leaders as to what the direction is and where you're going, because it might be slightly different out here. But what I'm looking at is the way I see people with 3.3 million people getting laid off last week, the way I look at it is people, the most important thing to them right now is to figure out how they can live. You don't lead with the products right now. If I was to lead with anything right now, it's all about the business, right? You lead with the business and you've got to be excited. Hey, you're never going to believe what I just found. You've got to hear this. This, this, is, this is our way out. Okay, well, what all you're trying to do is pique curiosity. It's all about business right now. So when you can do that, you can do some amazing things. Julie, I know you wanted to, to ask maybe do some questions and answers. If there's anything that I can that I can help anybody with, I'd be more than willing. Wow, John, that was amazing. I definitely had my immune system built up tonight with all your positive words um i i just love all the things that you shared i have a bunch of notes and uh and one of the things that you know i've heard lately today i heard um a couple people sharing just about how network marketing is rarely affected by an economic downturn and boy that's a big blessing isn't it and i, I just love how um you know leading with the heart and you know our ear is just like a major thing being able to listen to people and find solutions wow so much value john i i'm gonna have to listen to this one again so i'm glad it's uh, been recorded but let's open it up for uh questions and answers does anybody want to type in a question in the chat box um John, you shared so many good things and so many ways of just getting this information out to the people that we know and care about. So um, you, maybe nobody has any questions because you did such a fantastic job. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, if anybody wants to unmute as well, you okay. can unmute and ask a question. Okay, great. I'm just here to help anybody. I don't know if I'm going to have the right answer for you, but I'll try. Okay, here's one from someone. It says, thank you, John. What are some of the personal trainings that you do? Well, so I listen, I listen to a lot of things on YouTube. So I, interesting, I, I do a lot of motivational. I listen to Les Brown a lot. Um, I read quite a bit. Um, I would say <clears throat> those are always things. I listen to Les Brown. I listen to motivational speakers while I work out. Um, <clears throat> as, I, <clears throat> as I was telling uh, my Texas group earlier today, I gave them an example of, hey, you know, do you, do you like to work out? And they were like, well, yeah. But I, and I said, well, but are you motivated to actually get into the gym before you start? Because I do love working out, but... I never want to start ever. Like there's never a day where I think, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get into the gym. <laughs> it, it just never happens. And I said, I was down, but I still do it. And when I'm doing it, after I get into about 10 minutes of it, then I feel good about it. Then I feel motivated after I'm doing it. And when I'm done, then I'm really motivated about what I just did. And so the same holds true for when in this business when you you don't want to call somebody the same is true nobody don't ever think well that person's just got this motivation where they want to call people i don't want to call people i don't i know that i i want to but i don't i fear the same thing that everybody else fears which is what are they going to think i fear those same things but what i know is i do what's right and the right thing to do is let them know about it right you always as um Anybody been watching Disney? Frozen 2, our kids watch it all the time. So Frozen 2, the message in Frozen 2 is amazing. It's just do the next right thing. Yeah. When you don't know what the future holds, just do the next right thing. And so when we talk about the personal development things, what I do is I, I listen a lot, right? Um, and then when I read, I don't read during during daylight hours when I know other people are awake. 
right? Because what we should do during daylight hours is when we should be calling people. The time for personal development is early in the morning, late at night, because that's, that's the time for personal development. The other personal development that I utilize is when I work out and I listen to motivational things while I work out. Sometimes I listen to opportunity webinars that I haven't had a chance to listen to because somebody always has something really a different twist on something that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. That makes me think about it differently. Um, there was, uh, if you don't have anybody invited to tomorrow night's Zoom call with uh, Dr. Don D and Marcy Nettles, get somebody on that. We just had Don D and Marcy on our team call. And I will tell you, hands down, they're, they're phenomenal people. But the number one thing that you're going to see is not so much the message that they deliver, but it's with their heart. They care so much about what this does. And it, it is so powerful to hear somebody when they talk like that. And so if you can get somebody to tomorrow night's call, that's a really, really big deal, right? Tomorrow night will, will be incredible. So do everything you can just to pick up the phone and say, hey, if I could show you a way to create a, a secondary asset or a secondary stream of income, you know, during, during what's going on now, would you want to know about it? I mean, if, if I would you is, is great. Hey, we, or you could say, Hey, we've, we figured out a way to earn a secondary income source and it's all online, which is great during social distancing. <laughs> would you want to know about it? If I, if I showed you a video, would you like to take a look at it? You know, or you can be very direct and just say, Hey, you need to take a look at this. This would be phenomenal. 30 minutes of your time. Don't tell me no. Watch the video. <clears throat> right. It doesn't right. always have to be the same. Wow, some really good analogies. And um, I love Les Brown too. I don't know if you saw or if anybody else saw, but I, it's still accessible on uh, Brandon and Lynette Cunningham. They had him on uh, last week and it, it was great. So I'm sure that's still available. Phenomenal. It was phenomenal. He tells a story on there that's never been told before. I will tell you, if you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's great network marketing and advice as well. That's how Les Brown got started. It is incredible. And I'm telling you, guys, anybody on this call can get it done. You have to believe in yourself. I believe, <clears throat> here's what I believe. If you're on this call tonight, you've got the drive to get this done. Because there's probably, I have no idea about your organizations, but there's probably thousands of people that chose not to get on this call tonight. And so for the ones that are on this call, that's why I say it's meant to be, it's supposed to be, you're here for a God-given reason. For sure, this is the start of it. And 80% of any business is just showing up. 80% of it is just being present. You're present here tonight, you guys can do this. The, the next part is simple. Look at the contact information in your phone. Look at the contacts in your Facebook. That's a simple, all you're giving them is a gift. Untie the bow, show them the gift, right? It's, it's, it, to me, it's, even though we don't want to, right? It's rude not to show them. Good perspective. So that's, that's really the key is just from a development standpoint, develop late at night, develop early in the morning, daytime hours. I, I like to write a list down the night before of the people that we're going to contact so that I can be the boss the night before. And then tomorrow I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I write that person? That's not a person I want to call today. But I say, hey, you know what? Sometimes I, it's, <clears throat> this is probably a little too personal, but I go outside, I run up and down the sidewalk a few times. Then I grab my phone yeah. and mm -hmm. dial the number and start calling. So you yeah. get a little mm -hmm. of that anxious energy out. So uh, if you're like me, you got to move around, move around, call, and then just have a normal conversation. You know, it might come up, it might not, but you're doing the right thing by checking in. People are going to take notice for the people that do the right thing and call and check in with their family and friends. Very good. Well, I just want to uh, turn it over here to Mark uh, and Krista Harris to see if they have any, any questions or comments. I've that was got, awesome. I've got some comments. I see that Marianne, you got your hand up, girl. Um, do you want to, have you got a question? Yeah, unmute her. I saw that you were unmuted a second ago. Um, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. Actually, um, yeah, uh, I wanted to know if, um, you know, when, when I love the idea of saying, you know, um, you know, people that would like to feel better, um, you know, people that would like, you know, to have, you know, a steadier income. Um, but are we cl compliance wise, are we allowed to say, you know, suggest that someone's going to feel better. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of bowled over by the idea that we have this amazing product that has all of this research. I mean, this isn't just somebody saying, hey, yeah, you know, I like it. Um, we're talking about tons of research, scientific data, and somehow we're not supposed to really talk about that. That just blows my mind um i'm not i know i'm new at this but it it seems it just seems so counterintuitive to have to approach it that way and and maybe it's because of my background uh with medicine and things but somehow uh this it does it just blows my mind so if you could help me out on on uh, where I need to draw the line for uh, compliance. Um, I think this yeah. is a great question that uh, is so providential that John is on tonight as a former pharmaceutical rep. I can't think of a better question <laughs> to have a former pharmaceutical rep answer this question. Uh, that I, I don't know how to tee it up any better for you, John. Yeah, no, that, that's yeah. fine. So uh, I'm like the, 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 compliance police for our team uh, of when they, they post on Facebook. So here's, here's my take on compliance. One, our, our web page, so the website is completely compliant. Okay, so I just had a talk with Dr. Brian Dixon last week about what can be said, what cannot be said. And uh, every, I made sure everything on the website is compliant. So you can go to the website. And so what, what I did is, you can go to all each individual product. So just go click shop. You can go to each individual product, read through all the benefits. They list out all the benefits of every product, everything that's listed under every product, including what's written up in the PDF can be said. So you can't say that this, you have to leave out, you know, you can't make a claim on any type of disease process or any type of virus. You can't, you cannot say that this boosts the immune system. And the reason you can't say boost the immune system is because that has not been our consistent message over the course of the last 12 months. So now if you're out telling people that this boosts the immune system, what you're in essence doing is you've changed your, 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 um, your message, right. In order to get, I, I suppose, get customers, from people who are worried about their immune system health, right? So you're kind of using the situation to your advantage and you cannot do that. So what you can say is anything well-being, energy levels, mm -hmm. yes, feeling better, absolutely. Uh, you can make, you can say with hard work and effort, you can create a business that, that can help you get rid of your bills. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't tell anybody that they're gonna get rich overnight. You can't do that. You can't tell somebody that they can, they can hit each individual rank, but you can say with hard work and effort, you can do anything you want to do, right? You can, you can do that. Um, you can't make those income claims that are, that are just not true, if that makes sense. Right. Oh yeah, help? absolutely. Sure. You know, the, the thing that I tell people is like, listen, we are the only product in human history that is ever shown to lower oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. There is no other product in history that's ever shown that, not even remotely close. Direct antioxidants, they, they show zero significance when you look at oxidative stress, zero. There's no significant impact in direct antioxidants. There's just not, right? And so when you can get somebody to agree that you are a sum of about a hundred trillion cells and you're either feeding health or you're feeding disaster, 
right? You're, that's, that's how you have to look at it. And things that you put into your body matter. And if you don't think that that's true, ask somebody with a peanut allergy. It matters. <laughs> and it matters right away. You know, it, it just does. And so things that you put good into your body, how soon can you see a result? Well, the results are right away. You've now fed your body an activator that activates the NRF2 pathway, which is known in the science community as the master regulator of the human stress response. That's fact. We're not making any claims. You can't make any claims on disease process, immune system virus, but you can, you can certainly tell people how you feel, how you've done on the product. You can, you can tell people about that. You can say, hey, this product is the only product lower oxidative stress. That's important. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. It does. Thank you. you. Know, and and the, the, probably one of the most powerful things that you can say is you've got to tell people that, hey, here's what I will tell you. My entire family takes these products and my entire family will not miss a dose of these products. Right. That should tell a message pretty quick. Right. And, and there's a lot of powerful information on our website, like you said, John, under the products. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I've just been going there and taking some notes and, you know, getting some uh, great information there that we can share with people. Yeah, here's the other thing I would just add to that, Marianne. Um, you know, when you're hearing about the susceptibility of the elderly versus the relative um, protection or resistance of the of the young in body that mm -hmm. is the that is the age related onset of the, the results of oxidative stress and so we can say as john mentioned um you know anybody who is willing to listen um to you just really simply breaking down well you know oxidative stress is the thing that facilitates the onset of, of aging and disease. And we, we slow that down by 40% in 30 days. Would, would that interest you? And so you can, you can fully say that and, and be FDA compliant uh, with those of us in the nutrigenomic field. Of course, the pharma genomic guys, they can say, you know, whatever their tests say they can say. <laughs> but it's, it, it, it's, it's, my encouragement is it's totally possible to be compliant and convey the, the possibility that this is a better way to do health and wellness. Right, you don't have to. You don't have to take the shortcut of promising people a therapeutic benefit. And anytime you mention a disease, you're, you're, you are saying that you're saying our products are beneficial against this disease state, and that's what the regulatory agencies are looking for right now. And they are, they are prosecuting with great prejudice those that are doing that. So we just want to reiterate that please don't do that. Please keep the conversation completely compliant, especially yeah. in these days. And, and I, John, I, John, I appreciate your heart, man. I, I, so, um, I, I so resonate with, the, with leading with your heart. And uh, I just wanted to, to reinforce what you said so eloquently on the call is that if, if you're willing to muster your courage to call a friend like you should, we should be doing anyway. That's why personal development, I think, is so marvelous in network marketing, especially in Life Vantage, because we should be doing that anyway. I realized I had some remedial work with my extended family. I hadn't talked to these people in 14, 15 years. The last thing I needed to do was tell them that, you know, I had a product that was going to increase their glutathione. Um, I needed to ask the question, hey, how are you? How are the kids? What, where are you guys now? And I, I think you, you without... Uh, beating a dead horse. I think you did a great job. Um, I, I know uh, that there are people on this live call, and I know there are people gonna, that are, will be watching the replay that still feel paralyzed. They, they'll wake up tomorrow and with the best intentions, and they, they won't have a game plan. And I just wanted to follow up on something you said, John. If folks will take out their phone before they get up from their chair after this call, open their contacts on their phone and just say a prayer. Lord, somebody needs this. And scroll through your contacts and write down the people as you're scrolling that's, that stand out to you. Oh my gosh, 
Rachel, I, I need to tell Rachel about this. I need, oh my word, did you know Bob is working for the airlines? I need to call Bob and just check on him, right? And I think if you'll, if you'll do that tonight, before the sun goes down, or maybe the sun's already gone down on you, but before your head hits the pillow, you will have something in hand tomorrow when you wake up. I think that was brilliant advice, John. I just want to reiterate that. Thank you for that. Yeah, and you can, and, and you don't, w the way I talk to my team, Mark, about this is sometimes we all get overwhelmed if we think we need to call five people tomorrow, right? Concentrate on one, right? Just write, write one, start with one. If you haven't been contacting some people for a while, whether you're a middle rank, high rank, or whether you've just started, everybody hits a wall, start with one tomorrow. Right. And as you go through, you're going, here's what I know is going to happen. You're going to feel phenomenal after you get off the phone with that person. You're going to feel proud. You're going to be proud of yourself for being able to do that. I guarantee it. You're going to feel good. Regardless of the result, you're going to feel good about that call. So start with one and you can build up over time to do three and four and five. Like the, you want to grow fast, call more people. Yeah. Well said. Great job, John. Thanks for jumping on, buddy. Awesome. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any other questions? Hey, John, this is Christy. I just had a quick question pharmaceutical wise. Um, there's a new drug out and the first thing that it says is, are you taking fish oil pills? You could be harming yourself. Do you know what we should be saying to people? Because I now have a physician taking people off, telling them to stop taking their fish oil. Um, so one thing is, I mean, I think on most of the labeling of our products, it always does say check in with your physician. So if somebody shouldn't be taking uh, fish oil for, for whatever particular reason, you know, there's fish oil has the tendency it can, it can thin the blood. So there might be some people who just can't take fish oil and that's, that's okay. Right. As, as Mark was saying earlier, um, when he was talking about disease process and our products being you know, not to talk about being therapeutic. Um, it's really important to, to focus on what our products do help with, right? And uh, there, our team had a really tough time with this coming off of these uh, team, you know, customer pages, right? Where people like to talk about certain success stories with certain things. And, you know, I love the fact that I tried to tell everybody, listen, you know, this certain disease process is a very small percentage of the overall population. And so is this disease process. And so is this one. And so is this one. The majority of the population is not under those umbrellas. Your market potential is everybody. And so at the end of the day, if, if their physician tells them to get off of a, of a fish oil, fantastic. I mean, that's, that's, that's good for their health. You know, the majority of people aren't going to be in that same boat, but we have other products that can help people with their health and wellness. And it's all about well-being and longevity and who wants to age well. Does that answer your question? Yeah. And I'll pile on, on that as well. Um, when you start to think about the fact that 95% of everyone who still has a job, will do that till they die. And 85% of those people hate what they do every day for income. Uh, that's a far greater percentage than the 2% of people that struggle with X, right? So I just Christy, think- Christy, Christy, I can't- Oh, oh sorry. Martin just unmuted muted me in the middle of talking. <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna throw fish oil at if, you. If we can do this business, anybody can do this business. <laughs> um, I can only take the fish oil like once a week because I have a blood clotting disorder. And so you just have to know your product, know what your product does, because you're going to be helping people. So absolutely, if that doctor says she needs to be off, then off. There's tons of more stuff that's fantastic for her. So I just wanted y'all to hear that from someone who was, you know, <laughs> promoting it for 10 years. <laughs> that I think of Christy's talking about is there's actually a new product that they're saying instead of, not just if you can't take fish oil. I've seen the ads for it, Christy. There's actually something out there, pharmaceutical, that they're saying you should get off fish oil and take this pharmaceutical drug instead of something natural. 
Woo. Oh, is oh, that God. what you're saying, Christy? We Woo. just read the whole thing wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's Woo. what I was trying to get at. I mean, it's the first uh -huh. sentence in the in the commercial is are you on fish oil? You could be harming yourself. Woo. Stop taking it. Well, I don't know. It just depends on how many commercials that they're going to believe. I mean, that's like the biggest joke in our family with our teenage kids is what the commercials say. Especially this one. Kind of like, uh, <laughs> Thank you, eat guys. margarine instead of butter. Exactly. <laughs> hey, guys, at the end of the day, you know, think about, you know, I'll, I'll pile on to what Mark is saying with, with business. How many people do you know that would like to be celebrated? How many people do you know that would love community? How many people do you know that want to be a part of something big in their lifetime? Right? How many people do you know that want to be in a team? Right? A team that celebrates one another. And how many people do you know that would love an opportunity at a low risk, low cost, the ability to start their own business and live the life that they dream about? How many people do you know that are like that? And the benefit of, of that switching back and then you go back to the products after that and say this is what you get to build that around life changing scientifically backed products that change people's lives they're unique they're category created they're patented there's nowhere else that you can get products like this we are on the cusp of something great we are on the largest growing trend that there is in health and wellness and we're unique on that trend because we activate your body to produce your own God-given enzymes to have your body function the way that the Lord intended it to. Yeah. That's what we get to do. Yeah. And how fun is that? Yeah. It has to be fun, right? It's gotta be fun and you have to celebrate people. Powerful, yes. Awesome, John. Powerful. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. And, and, and you're allowed to say all that. <laughs> yes, it's right. legal to say all that. And you're much less likely to lose a friend over it because you were selling junk during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, we've gone a nice amount of time tonight and appreciate you, John, taking all the time and just all the value you've given us. It's been terrific. We so appreciate you and so glad that you're part of our Life Vantage family. So we want to thank everyone for being on here tonight. And I know uh, the announcements are going to be coming out. And maybe they already have. Uh, <laughs> on, uh, right after this, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to update that PDF and we'll get on it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Mark got up and went outside. And... Um, he worked outside all day and I worked inside all day on Zooms. <laughs> and so he came inside and I went, we didn't do the announcement. So you're about to see us again. <laughs> all right. Well, we will look for those announcements on Team Life Tree. And also, um, like John said, don't forget about the Zoom tomorrow night with Dr. Nettles and his wife to invite some folks to that. So thank you everyone for being on our Zoom tonight. We saw you, John. Thanks. Thanks, guys. God bless. Well done. We appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you. We love you. Good um, job, John. Thank you. Okay. Bye for now.